Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to TV Deep Dive. Today, we're diving into a burning question that fans of Christopher Nolan's acclaimed Batman trilogy often ask. Did Christian Bale really perform his own stunts in the Dark Knight trilogy? These films are not only celebrated for their gripping storylines and exceptional performances, particularly Heath Ledger's unforgettable Joker, but also for their stunning action sequences. Nolan's commitment to authenticity is evident, making the question of Bale's involvement in the stunts all the more intriguing. In a 2008 article from Today, Bale confirmed that he strives to do as many of his own stunts as possible. He famously recalled a thrilling moment on the roof of Chicago's 110-story Sears Tower, where he insisted on doing the scene himself, although he was secured with safety straps hidden from view. It's clear that Bale isn't afraid to push the envelope for the sake of realism. Another remarkable instance showcases Bale's dedication during the filming of Batman Begins. As he trained on a frozen lake with Liam Neeson's Ra al Ghul, he faced the terrifying challenge of standing still on a cracking surface, fully aware of the looming danger. For Bale, the thrill of tackling such risks adds a layer of authenticity to his performances. However, Bale is also realistic about the limits of his abilities. He openly admitted that while he enjoys riding bikes, he wasn't keen on mastering the bat pod, trusting skilled stunt performers like Jean-Pierre Goy, who became known for his ability to handle the complex vehicle. As Bale has matured, his perspective on stunts has shifted significantly. In a 2019 interview with GQ magazine, he shared how the thrill of physical risks has faded as he contemplates the long-term consequences of injuries. He recounted witnessing a stuntman in his 60s performing demanding stunts and realized that he no longer wants to risk his well-being for the sake of a role. In summary, while Christian Bale undeniably participated in many of the intense stunts that invigorate the Dark Knight trilogy, he has also recognized the importance of knowing when to step back. His approach to stunt work has evolved over the years, reflecting a deeper awareness of safety and professionalism in the film industry. If you're eager to experience the action again, you can catch The Dark Knight streaming on Max in the U.S. and witness firsthand the captivating blend of thrills and storytelling that continues to inspire audiences. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into your favorite films.